Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today uh, I've managed to find a quite a secluded, secret maybe, hidden bluebell wood. Uh, quite local to me actually, only a few miles away. And um, yeah, I'm really impressed. It's a bit of a walk-in, which obviously uh, detracts a lot of people, I suppose, from coming to these places. Um, but the location itself, it's a sea of bluebells in this nice little wood, and they, oh, it's absolutely stunning. Mmm, the smell of wild garlic mixed with the bluebell scent. It's, oh, oh, it's really, really beautiful. I've got the nice morning sun as well, as you can see on my face in front of me. And that's uh, casting its light this way through this uh, wood and across all these bluebells and they are uh, they're really in really good condition as well I'll show you um, a couple of pictures of them so you can see but uh, yeah it's really really good so my intentions this morning is to uh, capture some bluebell shots obviously you know it's a little bit cliche but uh, it's what every British photographer does during the, the spring season it goes out and gets photographs of bluebells I'm sure um, my lens of choice today um, is a 135 millimeter Samyang um, to give me a real nice um, uh, telephoto perspective. Um, it's a really very sharp lens and uh, it goes down to f2 so I'm hoping that it's going to give me a nicer really blurred and ethereal feeling background but the actual subject themselves are quite sharp in focus. Um, and then I'm also quite tempted to use a 100mm macro lens as well to see if I can get some macro shots of the blue bulbs as they hang over with the, uh, with the sun cresting against them as well which would be quite nice. So I think I'm going to have a wander around, find a suitable composition, get set up, get a couple of shots under my belt, um, get my eye in, and then uh, let's see how the morning progresses, and uh, I'll take you along with me. I'll catch you in a second. As I was walking around the woods, I noticed the effect of the change in sunlight I was having on the perceived colours of the bluebells, often changing the flowers from their deep blues into lighter shades of mauve and purples which fitted in perfectly to the feel of the images I was hoping to produce from this adventure. So I've got myself my first composition in the woods here. And uh, just to my left, I've got uh, a load of bluebells. And uh, in the background, there's a nice piece of dead wood curving up out of uh, the woodland floor. It looks really quite nice. Um, I'm not so sure why I'm keeping my voice down. I suppose it's a... Uh, it's the, it's the beauty of the place and it's just the bird song, it's just still, quiet and uh, other than my friend Mark, there's no one else here, lovely. So I'm going to show you how I've got this set up, uh, the camera, uh, again using the, the Samyang 135mm uh, um, just to give me that real zoomed in um, telephoto view on a prime lens and it's like really really razor sharp images. Um, and I think this will work quite nicely for this type of subject. So let's show you what I've got. So this is my uh, setup. You've got my camera here and you can just see as you're looking at my camera to the top left hand corner, there's a little bit of, of a tree trunk sticking out of the ground. And um, between that, I've got all of the bluebells underneath it and around it. And it makes for a real nice image so quickly show you my settings um, so I was shooting at around about f2 ISO 150 for the second and let me just bring you around so you can see hopefully what I'm looking at so I don't know if you can see that but uh, I think that should make for a nice image So guys, uh, taking a couple of shots now, quite low level on some of these bluebells. I'm gonna move my way further into the woods and see if I can find some uh, additional compositions to take today. Uh, the, uh, the conditions are absolutely beautiful. It's still, quiet, nothing but bird song, 
really, really nice. I'm doing my best at the moment to uh, basically not step on any bluebells. There's that many. And I'm following what appears to be a maybe a deer track through the landscape. Again, doing my best not to crush any of the bluebells underfoot. But uh, absolutely stunning. Lots of uh, lots of fallen branches, which make for some interesting foreground. Um, and not, not too cluttered, because that's generally the problem with bluebells, isn't it? And bluebell woods, but the woods themselves are very cluttered. And so finding a decent composition is really difficult. Uh, not so much here, I don't think. It's uh, really rather nice. As you can see, it's just a carpet of, of bluebells and lush green and, and lovely woodland. Absolutely stunning. And this is just on the doorstep, a bit of a hike to get to, but uh, absolutely beautiful. True hidden gem in Worcestershire. So folks, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to a 100mm macro lens and do some very fine detail shots of these blue bulbs. I think they will make for some really interesting images. Um, <sighs> falling all over, losing my balance. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I've got a nice bit of sunlight coming in from the left. Um, I'm hoping it's just going to reach slightly higher into the sky and then that should um, cast a bit more of some warm glow down onto these bluebell heads. Um, and then I'll hopefully be able to get uh, some nice backlighting. Well, that's my, my intention in any case. Um, but let's see how we go. Uh, i get set up now and uh, I'll show you what I've got. bit of a tricky position I've got myself getting quite low and uh, yeah I'm six foot one so getting quite low down to the ground is a bit of a challenge for me uh, but I'm trying <laughs> anyway I've got some nice blue bowls here now look at they look in absolute perfect condition uh, probably at the peak of their season I'd have thought and really long green stems the bowels themselves are in good shape uh, not dying off at all look really really good so Switched over to a 100mm macro lens, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to try and get some detail shots and uh, see how I get on with that. I'll put them up on screen and hopefully you guys will like them and uh, let me know.